um, an oscillating spindle sander. Um, it does this. Uh, and the reason you'd want something to do that is because you've just used the bandsaw to cut an irregular profile like this with concavity, and it's really hard to sand this. Um, and so you use an oscillating spindle sander to. Sand there, um, and you'll get a better surface finish on it. Um, that's it's it's a little bit of a specialty tool, uh, but it's actually quite useful um, if you're so it's you know concave, convex. Um, doing convex sanding on this is hard, um, and it has propensity to like shoot the piece around, and you get like divots in your stuff. It's not the tool that you're going to want to use, but it's really great for any sort of inside bend. Uh, and just kind of a general rule um, is you're going to want to use, there are all these different size, and that one's on there, um, sanding tubes um, that you can put on this thing to get, you generally want to use the largest drum you can to sand that will fit in whatever that curve is you're doing because you'll get, um, that will give you the best finish. Also. Those drums tend to wear less quickly. Um, and so, one of the things you might want to do is change the drum, which is something you can do now. Um, this thing spins to the. spins is counterclockwise, I think. Yes? Maybe not. I forget. Anyway, um, the way you switch things is uh, it's, it's reversed to. To loosen this this nut up here, you grab the drum with your hand and uh, you turn it mm. clockwise. Um, and you take it all the way off. Um, each of the drums has a has a washer. They live here. Um, and what that does is each of these drums is made out of rubber, and you can obviously you need to replace these sanding sleeves. And uh, so you need to be able to get them off. So what the what happens is you put a this size. You put the drum on, and you pick the appropriately sized washer. Okay, it should be almost exactly the same diameter as the drum. And you uh, did you put one of those little curly Q things? That's the throat plate. Throat yes, plate. you we, we will, but you'll. Um, and so you tighten this down, and what uh, what that washer does is you tighten this down, it actually compresses that rubber, and the rubber gets a little bit wider, and essentially grabs that, that drum so the drum doesn't spin independently from the... Um, uh, yeah. Uh, Alright, and so then the other thing you want to do is this thing that I just pulled off, it's called the throat plate, um, it's, so there's not a giant gap in here that your work and your fingers are going to get stuck in um, when you're sanding. And there are a whole bunch of different sizes of throw plate down here. And you choose the one of the appropriate size. Um, and there are arrows on the uh, on the top of the throw plate. Just the so there's a right way and a wrong way. Right. That's yep. incorrect. That's correct. Little arrows snap in there. And you just put that down. Yeah. And you're ready to sand. Um, again, this is this is not a terribly scary tool. Um, yeah. As far as actually using it, um, I mean, you can actually in the, you know, it gives a sanded surface as opposed to like this rough hand saw surface. Um, the reason it moves up and down is so you don't generate hot spots on the drum, and you, uh, which is nice and. Uh, well, as far as kind of safety things go, uh, it will stand off your knuckle, which is unpleasant. I've done it. Um, uh, when I was when I was talking about sanding like a, a convex surface, um, it's going to have a tendency to want to like suck the workpiece away from you um, and shoot it generally in that direction with the shelf. Um, and uh, there's another reason not to sand those types of surfaces with this. Uh, but yeah, it's it's pretty benign. Don't I mean pay attention, but it's pretty benign. And it is a cast iron work surface. All of these are cast iron work surfaces. I didn't mention it when we were doing the bandsaw video, but 
This is cast iron. This is cast iron. These are all, if it's shiny metal, shiny exposed metal, um, it will rust. Um, do not put beverages down on, on work surfaces. Um, even even your, the sweat from your hands will, will cause these surfaces to rust. Um, I'll, I'll wax them periodically. That will help. That will, but um, don't, like drinks are the big ones. Um, like there was a ring there. I think there was a, there's a ring here. That's a soda can. Um, so that's just, yeah. Um, and it makes, then I have to sand things down. And it actually takes the surfaces out of, out of flat, which is a bummer. Um, yeah, that's about it for the, um, for the sander.